and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge. Where in today's episode, I guess we're gonna walk towards that 466 foot beacon, yard beacon, over there. We're going over there. What's up, nice? Boom, but first, uh, we have some team decisions to make. Well, first of all, we need to get some naming done, I suppose, because we got a bunch of cool stuff to name over in here. Wanna see my Pokemon and things to discuss uh, based on what you guys said in the comments. So first of all, I asked you guys last time whether or not you thought the Drapion catch counted, because it's just good to remember back to where it was, if you don't know. The Drapion, uh, whilst we were trying to catch it, a space-time distortion formed around us, and that is where we caught our Eevee, which is now Rotera, the Umbreon. So, I believe at the time, um, I was thinking that the space-time distortion counted as its own area, um, and shouldn't count towards the Drapion. You guys all seemed, one, to agree that the space-time distortion counted as its own area, and two, that we should have some sort of alpha clause that just said if you caught an alpha, whatever, because uh, it's so hard. Um, I'm not as in on the alpha clause, because I think we could, eventually you could just go catch a ton um, once you're like really strong. But I do think the space-time distortion counts as like a different area. So um, we're gonna count that as different. We're gonna keep the Drapion, which means we need a name for the Drapion. Uh, hey Ben, Ben, hey. you wanna give me some names? I'd love to give you some names. Oh man, all right, cool, 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 cool. We got big old Drapion, it's a big old scorpion. Oh, I wasn't sure where to be. Hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. We got Drapion, yeah. which is a scorpion. Yep. Female. Female. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Have we used GG? We have not used GG. GG. GG it, it is. GG it is. All right, here Love we it. go. G. We're probably gonna need you for some other things. Okay, real we'll quick just here. Her. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I've got like at least two more right now. If not three, I have three more that need names, Ben. Oh, right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, wow. Okay. From the last episode. Yeah, left over. Goodness gravy. All right, boom. So here we go. This okay. is Zorua. Okay. White, pink, fox. Male. Love it. Love it. Yep, here we go. Whoops, not change moves. Ha. Embarrassing. I know. Change your name. Boom. So white, pink, fox. Yep. How do we feel about Arnold? Arnold? As in Scott Arnold. As in Scott Arnold, let's do it. I mean, hey, you're the master namer around here, you know. Hey, Arnold. Arnold. Reminds Done. me of uh, Ginny's Pygmy Puff. Oh yes, you're right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next up we have Piplop. Piplop. Penguin starter Pokemon. What you got? <laughs> I mean, okay, just tell me how you feel about it, because it's a little different from my usual naming uh, okay. approach. But I see Outdoors Guy. Outdoors Guy. <laughs> and I just think it's a really just, funny name. Just outdoor. <laughs> just Outdoors Guy. <laughs> you know Piplop, he's, he's, he's a real outdoorsman. <laughs> he's an outdoors guy. Outdoors, can we, can we put a space in? Oh, we can. Oh, yes. Outdoors guy. I hope Outdoors guy makes it on the team. Oh man, well, you know, I'm gonna have to ask you about that in a second too. Now we have Snorunt, which is like a little shivering dude who's got a big winter coat on. He got a big old winter coat. Big old winter coat right there, yeah. This guy could have been Outdoors guy too. Could have been Outdoors guy. You know? Seems like a North Face jacket if, I mean, have, all, if I've ever seen one. They all live outside. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I mean, is Xantharis a name? That's... As it is now. I, I like Xantharis. That's, I mean... I don't know how people come up with this stuff, but that's that's solid. That's like a high fantasy character if I've ever seen one. Xantharis. All right, Ben. So we've got a properly named team now. I need uh, your advice, I think, on what who should who we should put on the team. So right now we have Mercury, Luisa, Nice, and Retair. They're kind of like the core four. Okay. As okay. it were. Okay. On the other hand, though, we need we have these other two spots, which are presently filled by Humphreys and Barb. Okay. <laughs> on the one hand, Barb is like a cricket a cricket tune. It's an exceptionally bad Pokemon, but it is shiny, which basically makes it god tier, as far okay. as I'm concerned. Yeah. I so there's that. Okay. Uh, Humphreys, dragon type, Gumi. We've never used the Gumi, and it has a regional variant, so that's kind of fun. Uh, that's sort of like an argument against like the uh, the Garchomp. Okay. Line here, but then we also have Hot Chalk the Voltorb. We have uh, Arnold the Zorua, which is just like a really fun, cool Pokemon. It's a bit of a glass cannon. Okay. Though. Okay. We also have Gigi, 
The, GG. the giant scorpion. This is an alpha Pokemon. We don't have any alphas on the team. And we had like a whole episode dedicated to trying to catch this thing. And now it's finally here. Um, so there's that. Okay. Outdoors guy is a starter Pokemon. We already have a water type though. And then Xantheris I don't think is really in contention, as you asked me. So really it's whether or not we should put on... Um, Oh, and then we have Lasagna, who has waited forever to be on the team, but now we cut all these other cool things as well. Okay, um, okay. So, th th those are my options. Lasagna, GG, <laughs> Arnold, <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Those, or, those or Outdoors three. Guy. Or, or, yeah, or Outdoors Guy, or Barb or Humphreys. <laughs> I'm really, I mean, like, there's a real big part of me that wants Outdoors Guy to be on the team. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I, I, wi understand. I wish that I had picked something that was a, a better fit. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I hate to like just redundantize uh, your team. Yeah, I mean, we already have a water type up here in Luisa. Um, okay, let's see here. What is our foxes named? What do we What do we go with? Arnold. Arnold. I, I think Arnold's a good bet. Okay. I think Arnold's a good bet. Okay. For Barb or Humphreys? <laughs> well, I, I feel like you, you've always had like the shiny claws, I feel like. It seems like you can't not have the shiny on the team if you've got the shiny. All right, well, then here we go. <laughs> is it, I mean, is that right? Or that, I mean, you're right. I mean, it's hard to box the shiny, even when it's a Krikatoon. <laughs> How bad is a Krikatoon? I mean, you know, let's just check the summary real quick. Um, I mean, I'm not sure if that tells you anything. 108, let's see. Oh, hold on. Where is that? We're at uh, attack 108. Okay, attack 108. Which, oh God, even to add insult to injury, this is the stat that's getting nerfed and it's our highest, it's our otherwise supposed to be our best stat, so that's a bummer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. On the flip side, Arnold here, actually it's special attack, okay, anyway. Um, there you go, that's 125. Of course, it's 20 levels higher. Okay. 239. Wow. Total boss. Nice. I thought you were going to say total ball. <laughs> I mean, also true. Total ball. Total ball. <laughs> and then 196, 239 is Mercury. So, I mean, it's actually not that bad, I guess. Okay, it's go really back Go back stuff. to your box, though, mm -hmm. and show me um, who is who is this particular Oh, uh, this GG. is GG. Yeah. How would GG, how would GG do in the lineup? Oh, pretty cool looking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty big. So 147. So better. So better, yeah. There's, I don't think anyone would argue that uh, Krikatoon's better than Drapion, but yeah, there you go. I don't know, man. I'm, this is, I feel like I'm just here to give names, not to help guide, not to help the, guide the team. The trajectory. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd probably just like do it. I mean, I still, I'm just, I, I feel like I've become a really big outdoors guy fan. Yeah. Um, ben, so Ben's like, team outdoors I, guy. I, Bench Luisa. I am like, I'm having a hard time not doing every single thing, like mm -hmm. leading with outdoors guy. Yeah. <laughs> because because we're uh, we're fighting in the outdoors. And like, it's, I mean, it's not actually like a listed power, but it is a known, um, like, like you'll feel it. You'll feel the outdoorsman. <laughs> feel the presence of outdoors guy. Yeah. With yeah. the plop. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna so. keep outdoors guy on deck. Okay. Okay. At on the deck. moment, I'll we're gonna we're gonna move in Arnold. That was like our big catch last time. We're gonna keep GG in the box. Here we go. Barb, the shiny crooked tune remains. Um, that's how, that's how, that's the team. We've got like a real fox theme going on. We've got like look, Louisa kind of looks like a fox, like Weasley. Even Nice sort of has a bit of a fox face. Ratera, uh, I mean Arnold's a straight up fox, and Mercury's got like a lot. Yeah. This is okay. This is like the fox team and the mustached cricket. <laughs> Barb. All right. Anyway, uh, we're gonna set out. We're gonna try and find <laughs> uh, whatever we whatever we need to head to over there at uh, at that beacon. Let's see. We it feels like we should be dressed better. Lil J looks cold. There's no doubt about it. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's go Sneasler here. Probably. Whoop. What are we doing here? Uh, ah, there. Sneasels. There you go. Oh, the A-Poms. Everyone's least favorite thing in the whole world, A-Pom. Our hated foe on this particular run-through. There you go. Nice, go ahead and take that down. Grab ourselves a Stardust. Climbing up some mountains. Let's go. Are we in a new area? That's a good question. Um, Bone Chill Waste, white up. I think we don't have anything from Bone Chill Waste, right? That, I, that I'm aware of. Or is this, because we were down Hmm. There's someone's satchel. Don't you? I think this is new. Let's grab the satchel at the very least. Or...
or was the um, the Zoroa from Bone Chill Wastes? I don't know. I think because the Zoroa was from the big hole in the ground. Yeah, okay, so we're waiting down there. So I think that's Bone Chill Wastes, unless that counted as like a specifically different spot. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I can't. If I could think, press the right buttons! Where do we catch you? Check summary. You were caught, and it does not say. <laughs> Alabaster Icelands, that's not helpful because that's the whole area is the Alabaster Icelands. Yeah, okay, so I don't know. We're gonna assume that we can't catch something here in the, in the whiteout area. Doesn't, well, it doesn't mean we can't catch, we just can't catch new things, right? Boom, let's grab that Snorunt for Shorunt. You go get that. I should be using someone else to break the things, like Barb. We should try and catch that Snover, right? We can't keep it, but we can catch it. We can catch him. Oh, we're gonna catch him, all right. He is going down. Turn your back to us, boom! Oh, get in the ball. Get in the ball, Snover, you big tree. Yeah, do it, come on, oh yeah! All right, we have to release that, but we caught it. And it counts towards our research points, so that's good, let's catch another one. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Man, trees are so stupid. Boom! We got him. We're gonna catch him, no doubt. Oh! Got him again! Let's do it, get in the ball, man. Get in the ball. Oh, we got him, no problem. Let's make it three, let's make it three. Suit fruit root. Got a little suit fruit root. Let's see if we can just get him like that. Oh no, now he's mad. Oh, we've angered him, get away! We made the snorrent mad. Let's see, maybe we can catch that Glalie. Oh boy, here it comes. Don't you, do oh gosh. Wow, what is he using, Blizzard? I don't appreciate that one bit. Do we not have a good answer to you? Okay, you. We'll take him down, don't worry. We got some fire fang here. We got the fire fang. Yeah, you're dead. I'm surprised we haven't mastered that move yet. Or we, do we have to like go somewhere special to do that? I wonder. Because we use it a lot. Oh, got the Glalie. Number you defeated with fire. Oh, gee, oh boy, is that a? Oh gosh, is that an alpha? Is that an alpha? Or can we just catch that? Oh, it's an alpha. All right, all right. Oh, hi. <laughs> Get away. We've been hit. Man down. Going down, bro. Fire Fang. Oh, we didn't one shot it, that's a bummer. Blizzard, how dare you? Wow, that could have been a lot worse. Okay, so we're definitely gonna Fire Fang this thing. This would be a great area to have fire Pokemon, wouldn't it? You'd think. You'd think maybe I would have thought that through. And I, I don't even know if we even have any fire Pokemon. All right, we're gonna get away from that thing. Toot sweet. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, there's our um, rally point. Avalug's Legacy, so this is there are new Pokemon to be caught here. We could grab a Bergmite, I suppose, if we are so inclined, and I believe we are inclined. We're gonna sneak, oh, hi. Hi, little dude. Maybe we'll catch two, just like this. Boom. Boom, all right, so we can keep that first Bergmite. Boy, it almost wanted to get caught. Wait, can we catch a third one? They seem so friendly. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you people. Jeez. Well, that was a real slog fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done us. <clears throat> this gentleman's Avalog's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Shush and respect, Adamant. No, oh, let's begin with some proper introductions. I'm Garrick, I serve as one of the Pearl Clan wardens. Yeah. And you must be Jay, right? One of the galaxy team. Mm -hmm. Answer me this, would you on what grounds do you come here seeking a quail, Lord Avalug? Uh, I was commanded to. I'm not really that interested in the, yeah, you know, I just, I want to catch stuff, whatever. I want to go home. Well, that leads to my next question. Well, what is wrong with them being frenzied? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. Then I have another question. Send aside any orders, what is it that your heart tells you to do? I'm mighty lord of the tundra, the Lord has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. Yeah, jeez, man. 
Listen to your boss. Yeah, causing no trouble, blah, 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 blah. We get it. We are this. Let's get to battling. Oh, hold on. Oh, you want to fight? Uh, hold on a sec. Hold on one hot segundo, my man. Then will you never earn my approval if you won't allow me to test your metal. All right, all right. <laughs> so we're gonna have to fight this guy. Um, the question is, in what way should we fight him? Because likely he has ice Pokemon, right? So we have um, Nice. Let's just do a quick summary check on everyone. Nice is probably good because we have Iron Head and Iron Defense, which is nice. <laughs> Get it. Um, we have, let's see. Obviously, Mercury has Fire Fang. That's also nice. Uh, Barb and Arnold probably are not going to be super duper useful in this fight. Just got to put it out there. Uh, so it's really down to, uh, it's probably down mostly to Mercury and Nice as to how we fight these guys. Iron Head in particular is going to be really good if he's using Ice type Pokemon. Uh, we just have really good defenses. But if he has anything that has like water type attacks, that could be bad. We're also kind of like, I feel like we're kind of weak. I feel like that's, <laughs> that could be bad. This, um, we could have Luisa as well. That's not bad. Hmm. I wonder if there's any moves we could change on Luisa to help uh, our particular, not, oh, Hydro Pump, what? Hmm, no. That's not particularly helpful. Okay, okay, okay. Let's lead with Mercury. Um. I guess we can just change it out here, don't we? We're gonna lead with Mercury, yeah. And I guess that's gonna have to be how it goes. <laughs> We're gonna try and Fire Fang them, and hopefully that sticks, right? Is anyone damaged at the moment? No, everyone's good. All right, here we go. Here's a fight. Oh, jeez, I'm a little bit nervous now. Who cares about the grandstand? Let's get to battling. Okay, let's start, let's do it. Bring it on, dude! My musculature is as hard as unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? I mean, let's just get to it, dude. What do you got for me? Oh, a Glalie! All right, so we've already found one of these out in the wild. We know Mercury can do it. I mean, that's no doubt at all. Oh, he's got at least one of these guys. <gasps> he's a double fight. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, almost undoubtedly, the this thing is a glass cannon. So let's go ahead. I think, and try <laughs> to just one, oh, it's level 24 too, so let's just get rid of this thing so it doesn't affect any weird, um, boom, yeah, the thing's dead. All right, no weird status conditions. The Glalie's the real problem. Ice shard, basically worthless. Oh, Icicle Crash, what's this? What nonsense is this? <gasps> it seemed a little bit better, hmm. I'm afraid of using something like Blizzard and like totally wrecking us though. Um, let's just go for an item. We're gonna go for, well, this is what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna just, we're gonna, get, we're gonna like scout what it's gonna use and see how it does. Let's see, Icicle Crash again. Oh, critical hit! Oh gosh, I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. <sighs> we could try and Thunder Wave it. If we go Agile style on this. Power and effects are reduced. Or we could just go for the straight up Fire Fang. Uh, I feel like it did so much damage that I don't, I don't like. We're gonna go for the Fire Fang. Epic. Oh, one shot with the crit in return! Mercury's so good! That was awesome. We should have never doubted Mercury, as ever. Move master, look at that. <laughs> Arnold, Arnold just down there, mastering stuff, not even getting experience. Outstanding, I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed, smashed me through and through. I suppose you can get on with it now. This one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Jay, but I'll vouch for her. Yeah, that's right. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you'll need bravery. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long story. You're not saving any time if we wasted puzzling out what you mean. <laughs> Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. 
But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy, here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach it by air with Braviary's help. Garrick, <laughs> Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy. I'll have you know, he says he made it within six feet of the top. Might makes right, or at least height. And uh, about Sabi, how do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi! Hey, there she is. Braviary, now you can really move around the map. <laughs> My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? And I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi and let me focus on my workout while I still can. All right, dude, whatever. You have fun over there. Uh, I guess we have to go talk to Sabi, eh? Do, 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 do. Oh, can I not climb up there? Here we go, here we go. I love how you're just like peeking out the back of that basket. Like, whatever, it's all good. All right, give me a big bird. Hello, my name's Sabi. Nice to meet you, Jay. Yeah, whatever. Give me your bird. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want bravery yourself so you can quell Avalok's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. But let's go, Braviary. All right, see ya. Where are they going? Catch up to Sabi. Uh, all right. I will assume that she went way over there. So we're gonna go try and find her. <laughs> After maybe we catch some more stuff. Think we can just catch this thing? Turn around, Biberel. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, boy. Now we've alerted it to our presence, so whatever. Oh, hey. We can catch that, though. We'll take that all day. Got a Bergmite. Got some crunchy salt. Get that, Barb. Barb, no, get the, get the tumble stones. Jeez, what are you doing? Pay attention! Gonna catch this guy. Gonna catch that guy. Oh no! Got him. Bergmite. We're gonna catch all sorts of these things. Oh, this one's asleep. That seems like there's probably like a caught it while sleeping situation. Got it. All day. All day. Whenever it's in that snow, please don't be in a Pokemon. Snowball. All right, we're just making a long trek over. Can we, can we get this Glalie? Oh boy, it sees us, or does it? Or does it? It seems pretty aware of us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it! Oh, we missed it! Boom, backstrike! All right. Oh, it is sneaky. It's a sneaky one. Okay. All right. Obviously doesn't want to be dealing with us. We don't want to deal with it. All right. Let's say, oh, look, there's just regular old non-alpha Obama snows over here. They seem rather catchable, do they not? Oh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see. I bet they want the crunchy salt, because everything here seems to want it. Ooh, a rainbow. Ooh, yeah. And now we're just gonna sneak up on it real slow-like, real slow. Bump! Let's get it, let's get it! Oh, it got away, no! Oh, no. I think it's angry at us. Oh, no, we need to heal, uh-oh. Yikes! All right, 
Run! Man, I thought we had that guy. But we didn't. Oh, that was enough. More Pokemon to anger. All right, see you, dude. Let's go over here. Get these. Maybe we'll catch some of these uh, other... Oh, what, 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 what? Are we still being attacked? We are. Goodness me. What is that? An Electabuzz? Well, now that's interesting. Why are there Electabuzz over here? I, man, I love Electabuzz. That's so cool. That is awesome. Okay, let's see if we can catch him. Do we have any like, no, nope, we don't have any sort of fun, easy way to deal with these guys. Let's just maybe see if we can sneak up on him. Okay, are we in a new area? I don't think so. For, oh, oh, it sees us. Oh gosh, it's angry. All right, well, no big deal. We're just gonna fight him. Bring it, dude. Electa bro. Let's see if we can catch him all the same. Level 50, Thunder Punch does nothing. It does nothing. All right, we're gonna iron head this thing because we don't actually want to knock it out. Oh yeah, all right. You can do it again. Iron head, give it the flinch. Boom, old man, you've been hit with the boulder, my man. Thunder Wave does nothing, Electa Buzz. You've got nothing on us, all right. Which means we're gonna go straight in for the Great Ball. Dude, love Electabuzz. I love Electivire too. Boom, yes, yes, that's so fun. Obviously we're gonna have to release that unless it turns out we're in a new area, but I don't think we are. Yeah, we're in the same, we're in the same spot. So we're gonna have to release that, but counts towards our Pokedex anyway, right? So that's good. All right, Barb. Go get us some experience for you. Some doppel bonnets, Ooh, more doppel bonnets. Sneasel, sneasel, yeah. Let's go. Are we gonna have to go trace her down again? I totally forget this entire quest even happened. All right, we made it. Uh, we took the long way. Jay! You made it all the way up here in this cold? But the question is, did you catch me or did I let myself get caught? Ooh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? You might be. Mm -hmm. mm. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. But the real question is, <coughs> am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? Mm, I don't know, I'm bored. This is a lame quest. <coughs> I gotta just walk around and catch you? <laughs> Easy. It's okay, because we just need to catch lots of fun stuff along the way. And then we're gonna get a big bird at the end. Big burb! All right, the slumbering Lorna catch up to Sabi. Here we go. Ooh, we should, at the very least, continue to let Barb get some passive experience with these things, right? Oh boy, where are we going now? Way over somewhere. I think we have to go way over there. Oh, it's quite a trek, you guys, but we're gonna make it. Quite the trek. It's all right. It's kind of fun getting up there. It's like the big Pearl Clan temple. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, Barb, grab those things. Oh, now it's night. Let's get that stuff. Ah, ghost. Are we in a new area? Can't tell. I don't think we want dust clops anyway. But can we catch other things? That's the question. Nope, we're still on the bone chill waste, it looks like. But we're coming up on Arena's approach. Oh. And then we'll be able to catch stuff. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna let Barb continue to get some experience. Oh! Oh, how dare you, sir? Okay, so we've been attacked. Now there's a big uh, pillow swine over there. I don't really want to fight these dust clops, I'll tell you what. Don't really want to fight it. Go away. Turn around. Yeah. Turn around. Maybe we'll catch it. Turn around. Turn. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well. You want to fight, bro? Let's fight. Oh! Oh, sneaky. You're afraid of us. I get it. I'd be afraid, too, because I have a big thunder lion here. And it's going to. Uh... Oh, actually. No. Yeah. We need a heal first before we do that. Oh boy, okay, hold on. That was almost bad. We definitely want to heal up a little bit, I think. 
Yeah, here we go. Go ahead and use on Big Merc. Whoop. There we go. All right, now we're better. Now we'll fight you. <laughs> Don't want to risk some sort of like rogue death against the random ghost shadow ball. Let's see how this does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't love it, but we give it a crunch. Hopefully that just knocks it out. Oh, it didn't. Uh-oh. Oh, we have we have two turns in a row though, so. Now it's dead. Boom. All right, we'll just take the XP and run, right? Not gonna worry too much about that. Sneasel up here. Space-time distortion appeared. Mm hmm. Have we crossed into the next area? Almost. Almost. More ghosts everywhere. No fun traveling at night. More ghosts. Yeah. How are we gonna do about that? What are we gonna do about that? Mm hmm. Should we keep moving? I think. Oh, Stantler. Can we catch? Oh. Okay. We don't want to deal with that. I just want to get some experience. Ooh. Stuff, stuff. Can we catch it? Maybe. These feel like that maybe they, you'd want to use like a heavy ball or something. We're kind of getting outside of the great ball range. Oh, bam! Backstrike. Let's see it. Get it. Get it. Ah, oh, man. Oh, look at that throw. Man, that was awesome. Oh, come on, dude. Get in the ball. Killing me, man. Get in the ball. Oh, we got it. All right, cool. Excellent. Let's go ahead and have uh, Barb pick us some more berries. Level up, yeah, Barb. That's what's up. Where are we going? Way up. Uh, have we lost the track of where we're going? Oh, way up there. Okay, so we got to basically follow this path. More or less. All right, let's ride our big, uh, ride our big deer. Seems like, yeah, there's gonna be stuff to catch up here, for sure. Mm-hmm. Glacier Terrace, okay, so this is a new area. Which means if we get this, oh, what? It hit it, that should have, why didn't that work? All right, whatever, don't care, don't care. New area, Glacier Terrace. Don't even care about the drift blim at all. Just gonna keep on moving. What is that? A pomp, man. This is such a terrible path for catching stuff. Nothing good on this path, I tell you. Okay, that tree looks possibly promising. Let's see. We're gonna attack it with something a little bit stronger. Send out Luisa to knock this one down. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Ooh. We don't want the worm dam. Terrible, terrible. No, 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 no. See you later. What we want is maybe that Weavile, though. That seems significantly cooler. Where'd it go? Where'd, oh, there it is. Okay, I see it, I see it. I see it. Or can we catch it? Can we catch it? It's gonna turn around almost for sure. Boom! Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's an awesome catch. Oh, we got it, the Sneasel. Excellent, excellent catch. Very good, very good, I'll take it. So that we can, we can keep, we can keep that Sneasel. And we, obviously we know what it evolves into. Uh, if we get there, it'll turn into this guy. Hey, with a weird purple patch on his face. All right, it's fine. Oh, and the Rufflet, so that would obviously turn into the Braviary, which is another cool, uh, actually we can do this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I guess it's fighting us now. All right, whatever, we'll just knock it out, that's fine. We'll get it, we'll get it. It's got nothing on us. What does Thunderfang get? Boom, one dead, ha. Number two to electrolyte moves, okay. So we can, in fact, I'm surprised there's not more floating around, honestly. We can get that one pretty close. Maybe we can feather ball that thing. Okay, ready? Just sit still. Boom! Can we get it? Got it! Easy! No, hold on. I'm gonna 
keep it on Feather Ball. And then, oh, well, I hope this isn't something dangerous. Oh, it's a Bronzor. Okay, we got it. We'll just knock it out. Level 31, not afraid. We just fire fang this thing into the next world and it's dead. Yeah, that's what I thought. Defeated the Bronzor, easy, easy. Ooh, the Kadabra though, hmm. Less easy, you'd have to think, right? Let's see if we can catch this Chingwing. Mm hmm just stop moving. Boom, right in the face! Turn around, Kadabra. Oh, we got him. We got him. Turn around, Kadabra. We'll catch you too. You're gonna help our pokers. Boom! Got him. Hopefully. Hopefully. Got it. Man, we we're catching all sorts of stuff today. This is fantastic. A little pep up plant. We want that. Those are good for making potions, which of course we need. Don't look at me! Oh man, it's sauce. All right, all right, it's fine. We, we have it. We have a we have a solution for psychic types. I'll tell you what, and their name is Rotera. Zen headbutt, not affected. Afraid not, friend. Instead, how about a good old fashioned dark pulse to the face? Boom, you're dead. Yeah, I thought so. All right, good job, Rotera. In fact, let's just go get the next one too. Can't evolve. Hold on. What? Let's do that right away. Oh, this is so cool. I love this Zoro arc. It is such awesome artwork. Such awesome design. Oh boy, it's gonna look so cool with the glowing yellow eyes. Ugh. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, deadly, deadly. That is excellent. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Very fun. Man, I hope we, these research tasks just don't take any time at all. Any time at all. Because we've done, we've caught so many things, so many new things too. <sighs> And we can catch, we keep the Sneasel. What's that? What's that? Oh, okay, we don't really care, we don't care. All we care about with those is catching them. And if we see enough, we can feather ball them. It's chasing us. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go up here, talk to your evolved form, your true form. Hi again, Jay. We made it. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. <laughs> Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. Oh, are you kidding me? But the real question is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored? You already said that. All right, whatever. Oh, look, another person. I heard what Warden Sabi said. If you have Warden Sabi's approval to enter, then by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Okay. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern on their chests too. Yeah, don't, don't you work here? Shouldn't you know all about it, dude? These people. No help at all. All right, Snow Point Temple. Honestly, this feels like a good stopping point. I feel like we've been going for a little bit here. Let's see. Yeah, four to one. Okay, so next time uh, we shall continue our way through Snow Point Temple and uh, hopefully get the Braviary and uh, who knows, maybe take on the Avalug if that's where we're at next episode. Obviously, we're gonna have to do some naming uh, there as well. And in the meantime, here's what the team looks like. We got Barb up to 36. Arnold evolved into Zoroark. Looking like a freaking champ on uh, Team Foxface here, I guess. And Mustache. Team Foxface and Mustache. There you go. Trademark. Pending. Man, look at, seriously though, look at this guy. Check summary. Oh, such a cool looking Pokemon. I love it. So, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway, uh, maybe we'll actually get some battles in with Arnold and Barb <laughs> next time. We gotta get them up. They're like, they're close to being competitive, but not quite, not quite, not quite there yet. Uh, but when we get there, the thing about Arnold, we'll pretty much have to lead with Arnold because if Arnold's not going first, then Arnold's gonna get hit. And if Arnold gets hit, basically gonna shatter into a thousand tiny glass pieces because uh, not very defensive <gasps> at all. Um, speaking of which though, we can at least do this, put this on Arnold. Um, bu, 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 bu. Let's definitely make sure that speed is maxed as much as we can. And I think we wanna hit special attack as much as we can, right? That is uh, Arnold's big 
thing. We'll put that HP up another slot as well. All right, excellent. All right, uh, thank you guys, as always, for watching today's episode. Don't forget to give a like uh, if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of The Nuzlocke, and leave a comment so that uh, maybe we'll name a Pokemon after you. Maybe Master Namer will choose you. But otherwise, until next time, bye! And before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon. I used to be able to read out every single person's name, but you guys have been so awesome and so many people have joined that I, I don't think I have the time to read out every single name anymore. But big, big thank you to every single person who's supporting us over there. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, or if you'd like to take part in our other show on this channel, Box Breakers, where we open Pokemon cards and then send them to you guys, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again, everyone. Dead spork.